everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today what I have for you guys is a really unexpected video. So late last night, somebody on the COD Zombies Reddit by the name of Trav Trax finally discovered how to get that mysterious jump scare which was seen in the music video for Dead of the Night that none of us were able to actually unlock in game. Now, Glitching Queen made plenty of videos about this, and I believe some of her buddies showed her that in theater mode, you could see the jump scare model behind this specific painting by the spawn area and it's the same jump scare model that was used in the music video so we all came to the conclusion that okay they used the jump scare for a specific purpose in the music video but changed the actual location of where you can activate it in an actual game of dead of the night so trav tracks came across this by simply adsing at this specific painting for about i want to say three to four minutes and after staring at it for long enough the jump scare finally came out and he claimed that you can do this multiple times in a single game and he did have the savage impaler and steak knife in his match when he tried this so at first he assumed that they could have been prerequisites for actually unlocking this jump scare but we all know that's a little too tedious for a simple jump scare in a zombie map but we know from previous zombie maps that Treyarch has also done the jump scare system has always been pretty much the same thing where you look at a certain spot you ADS at it for maybe two to five seconds and the jump scare pops out but when it comes to this specific specific jump scare. This is what reminds me a little bit of the hunt we had for the secret trophy on Tag Their Toe In, where there's a list of steps that do work in just about every single game that you play. However, it's a bit inconsistent. So here's what I mean by that. Somebody by the name of Actual Jump Scare, it's a pretty ironic name, over on the COD Zombies Reddit, came across the actual jump scare on Dead of the Night and debunked a couple of things. You don't need the steak knife. You don't need the Savage Impaler. However, you do need an upgraded wonder weapon of some sort, either the Chaos Theory or Alistair's Annihilator. So for the sake of already having built Alistair's Annihilator in my game, I just decided to use this one. And all you have to do is ADS at the painting for about, I want to say it's three to five minutes. Anywhere between that time is when the jump scare should pop out. However, I tried this for quite a while in my game and couldn't get it to work. So that's when I went back and rewatched some of the clips of these guys getting the jump scare in their game. And I noticed that they all had all of their perks active. Now, it could just be a coincidence but right when I bought all of my perks and went back to stare at this painting for about I want to say three and a half minutes the jump scare popped out so I'm going to leave you guys with this disclaimer that maybe just maybe you do need all of your perks in your inventory to initiate this jump scare now if you guys debunk this and are able to actually get this to work without buying all your perks please let me know down below in the comment section so I can pin a comment updating you guys with what we found that I can also update the description with this information but my buddy quantum fix was also also in my match he had all of his perks and he then stared at the painting for about four or so minutes and finally got the jump scare to pop out at him but again it could be possible that there's a weird prerequisite to this where you do need not only an upgraded wonder weapon of some sort but also all of your perks but this leads me to question why in the hell did they add a jump scare that's so complex to the point where you have to do an entire wonder weapon quest and possibly spend all of your points to get all four perks just to get this jump scare to come out at you it's something that i really don't believe anybody would have randomly came across if they weren't searching for this jump scare if the music video hadn't come out for dead of the night i'm almost positive nobody would have ever found this but luckily we have people out there on the cod zombies reddit hunting for this jump scare because it has been a mystery for the past couple of months but it also came to my attention that you have to continue adsing at the painting you could shoot and reload but don't take your finger off of your ads button and this somehow helps it trigger and the jump scare will pop out at you so i noticed that when i did that i never let my finger off of the ADS button and then Quantum did the same thing by keeping his finger on the ADS button but you could get moved if you're sitting there ADSing at the painting shooting reloading but there's werewolves and vampires behind you moving you that won't affect the trigger for this jump scare you can still get moved as long as you're ADSing at the painting itself you'll be fine but let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section this has been DK Dynamite do you think this jump scare isn't scary enough do you think it's too tedious I'm really happy that it's solved it's been so many months since we've spoken about it so I'm glad it's finally out there in the open however i don't ever see a casual player who even tries that of the night to come across this jump scare by any means you do have to have a little bit of experience with the map itself you know getting the alistair's foley either from the box or the side quest in the library upgrading that to either the chaos theory or annihilator getting silver bullets building a shield prima materia getting 
all the parts. There's a lot that you have to do just to even come close to getting this jump scare in game. But what I don't understand is the logic behind it. Who out there would ever just come across this painting, somehow stand still for three to five minutes and continuously hold down their ADS button to possibly get this? Whoever would have ran into this if they weren't searching for it? It's just, it's really weird. It boggles my mind because with all the other jump scares and previous zombie maps, it's usually put in an area that Treyarch can easily see us coming across and ADSing on, right? Like the fireworks on Mob of the Dead. Everybody's going to ADS the fireworks. They knew we would do that. We have a note on Tagler Toten right next to that pot at the back of the boat. Treyarch knew we were going to ADS the note and read it, so of course they'll put a Margo jump scare right there. It just makes the most sense. We have another one on Blood of the Dead with the Shadow Man. So many areas that they know we would come across and ADS at. While with this one on Dead of the Night, it's like, who's going to stand there for X amount of minutes, not seconds, minutes, and somehow have an upgraded Alistair's Foley by chance and then aim at that painting nonstop for a couple of minutes. But it's also great to know that the vases that Glitching Queen also made quite a few videos about is not in any way related to the jump scare itself, but could be tied to a completely separate Easter egg that we have no idea about, but I'm sure we'll find out what that could mean in the next couple of months. But there has to be a reason why you can break all six vases, and it could even be tied to an Easter egg that is completely cut from the game, but for some reason, the first step of breaking the vases is still end game. We just don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. It's of course Black Ops 4. There's many cut Easter eggs that we could see here in all of these maps, but that is about it. As usual, I'll keep you guys updated with the latest and greatest Black Ops 4 gameplay news and coverage, and up to date with just about every single Easter egg that is found for Black Ops 4 Zombies. Thank you so much, and peace out, everyone.